Hello. I'm going to take a minute to go over some functionality added in the Vicinity 4.36 release, which is our September 2021 release. Specifically, I want to talk about um, where some dates come from, particularly um, for uh, planned start and end dates of a batch. I'm going to go ahead and pull up a batch that I've already got established out here. And in this case, it's showing an example of me making two different finished goods, DCFG01 and DCFG02. I also have another line of DCFG01 I'll talk about in just a second. Um, specifically, I want to talk about where these dates come from. Um, up until this release, uh, really, the, you could change these anytime you wanted to on a batch ticket. So you could change the plan start and plan end date. And they really kind of default from the plan start and end date of the batch header itself. So you can come in, uh, in this case, I could, let's say I've got a long batch and I'm going to get some out on a one particular date and, a, and more out on a different date. I can actually set different dates associated with the line items on what I'm planning to get out. That would also be true if I'm going to do, say, multiple days of packaging on a, on a run. I might say I'm expecting to get um, 100 out on this date and expecting to get 150 out on this date, as an example. Uh, so the idea behind this is you can really kind of dial in uh, your anticipated inventory. This is used by a scheduling and MRP to help us determine when you're going to have that inventory available. So what I've just shown you has been in the system for a very long time. You can define any plan and start end uh, date by the um, at the line item level. Now let's go back to the creation of the batch. I created this batch manually from batch entry, but let's assume for a minute I want to do that from uh, the, the calendar or the schedule. And I'll just go ahead and, and display my schedule such that I'm able to see uh, planned orders because that's really where the issue is. Uh, when we're on a planned order, there is a, um, uh, a a header or a, a plan start and end date at the planned order level. When I go to create or convert two batches, especially if I'm converting uh, multiple batches with the same um, with the same formulation, uh, I may end up with multiple line items and or for that matter, multiple batches. So in this case, I'm getting multiple line items or multiple end items on a batch. Now, I might, they may not all come out at the same time. Prior to this release, we only had a start and end date, and every line item that's being created gets the same, same start and end date. We've now added the ability to define that start and end date at the line item level. That actually marries up nicely with what we already do in batch entry. So this is a preview screen. This is basically what you're going to see on a batch ticket. When I hit uh, start, uh, save new batches, it'll actually go and create uh, in this case, this batch with three end items on it. Uh, so we've basically taken that batch entry functionality and extended it from just being a batch entry concept and bring it back into the create batches. Now note that create batches can be um, accessed a couple of places. One we just showed on the production schedule. Another we have is the production uh, calendar, which is base. it is the same data, uh, but it allows me to do the same concept where I can create batches convert to batches and I have the ability to change the start and end date here as well and then the third place in which this can be done is in product develop I'm sorry uh, production control create batches this is basically a summary screen that lets you see really a list of all your planned orders that you've got out here and you can go and create batches uh, by selecting individual planned orders. So it's the same concept we were seeing on the schedule, but this is only looking at planned orders. And I go to create batches, and again, I get my three line items, and I can extend and, and, and modify the plan start and end date prior to the batch ticket being created. So if you're using our scheduling functionality, especially if you're making multiple end items on a batch, or if you get uh, items out a little bit each um, each day over a period of time. Those are use cases that this may be really helpful for you. Anyway, give it a try. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us and we look forward to helping you out. Thanks a lot and have a great day.